Yes, guys. So let's see resistances in parallel. In parallel, we are doing it in the same way as we used to do in current electricity, right? In current electricity, what we know in parallel connection, what was common between the two conductors? Potential difference. So here, what will be common? Temperature difference. T A and T B. In parallel connection, resistance we used to write as one by R equal to one by R one plus one by R two. Or net resistance R one R two by R one plus R two. Same thing we'll do here also. Okay, so then R one is what first? R one is L by K one A one. You can say R two we can say is L by K two A two. We'll place it in this one. See what's coming. R equal to L by K one A one plus L by K two A two by L by K one A one plus L by K two A two. What's going to come then? R equal to. Okay. So here is L one into L two. So here is L square by K one A one K two A two by. What is over here? We take LCM in this one. L we can take common. So K one A one plus K two A two by K one A one K two A two. Okay. So this K one A one K two A two here is this is all cancelled. And this L is also cancelled. So what we have, we have L by K one A one plus K two A two. And if suppose this R also we want to write in that way so that we can calculate what is the effective value of coefficient of thermal conductivity, we can write this R as L by K A one plus A two. This is the net area over here. A one this, A two this. Okay, equal to this value. What is it? L by K one A one plus K two A two. This L also gets cancelled. So K value we are getting is K one A one plus K two A two by A one plus A two. That is the K value in case of parallel connection. Okay, but in this one, what is different? Different is current. In parallel connection, what used to be different? Current used to be different. So what is the net current in this case? Net current is I H one plus I H two. What is I H one? I H one is delta T. That means T A minus T B by R one. What is R one? L by K one A one. Okay. Then what is I H two? Again T A minus T B by R two. Okay. And what is R two? L by K two A two. So this way we can calculate the current, and this way we can calculate the effective value of thermal conductivity in parallel connection. Okay, so these two types of connection only we have in conductivity. Now we are going to solve problems based on that. All right. Okay, students, let's see the first question now. This is aluminium cube. Okay, of H two meter. One side temperature hundred, other side temperature is zero degree centigrade. What we have to find? Very simple. Find the heat flowing through the tube in five seconds. K value is given. That means thermal conductivity given. Now what we know as far as heat flow is concerned is dQ by dT. That means power. Remember, is equal to K A delta T by L. K given to you. Area. It's a cube. So area of the face also we know it's two square. That's four. Delta T hundred. Length it has to pass from this end to this end. That means two meter. So current is given to you, but what is he asking? Heat. So heat means and this time is also given. So he is asking dQ from you. Take T over there. This you can solve here. So two hundred and nine. Into two hundred into time is five seconds, so we will take five seconds over here. So two hundred and nine into thousand, so two zero nine zero 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 joule is the heat being passed from one end to the other end in five seconds. Okay. 
See next question now. This is three rods are connected. Okay, one is aluminium, other one is steel, other and third one is copper. Every rod is having length one meter. Okay, temperature at this end is twelve, this end is four, this end is fifty. Area of each one is one centimeter square. What we have to do is we have to find temperature at B and coefficient of thermal conductivity of all is given. In this one, what we can say? We can say that the heat will start moving from the higher temperature from here. So this is IH. Okay, this IH can come to this junction and then it is going to split. Here will go, let's say, IH1 and here will go IH2. Right, so we can write IH equal to IH1 plus IH2. Okay, what will be the common thing in this all? It will be the TV because this is the junction common to all. So what I am going to write, just check. 50 minus T by resistance of steel. Same way IH1 will be what? TB. TB I am writing as T only, okay? So let it be T. So T minus 12 by resistance of aluminium plus T minus 4 by resistance of copper. Okay, so if I am going to keep these resistances, obviously I will be getting the answer immediately. So let's find the resistances. Resistance of steel, L by K, so L is 1, so 1. K value for steel is 50. Area is 1 centimeter square, that means 10 to the power minus 4. So resistance of steel is 10 to the power 4 or 100 into 100 by 50. 10 to the power 4 is 100 into 100. So this becomes 2. So resistance of steel is 200 ohm. Okay. Not ohm, but resistance of steel is 200. Same way, resistance of copper also we can find. Length is again 1. And K value for copper is 400. Area is 10 to the power minus 4. Take 10 to the power minus 4 up. That is 100 into 200 again. By 400. This gets cancelled. This is 25. So resistance of copper is 25. Same we find resistance of aluminium then. Resistance of aluminium again L by K. So 1 by 200 into 10 to the power minus 4. That is 100 into 100 by 200 okay so what are we getting it is 50 so let's keep it over here all the values 50 minus t by resistance of steel resistance of steel is 200 t minus 12 by resistance of aluminium which is 50 plus t minus 4 resistance of copper which is 25 okay so let's take this is common 25, this is 2 and this is 8. Okay, now I'm multiplying 8 on the side. So 50 minus T equal to 4 into T minus 12 plus 8 into T minus 4. Let's solve this. 50 minus T equal to 4 T minus 48 plus 8 T minus 32. Further, 50 minus t, 4t plus 8t, that is 12t, then 48 plus 32, that is 80, so minus 80 here, bring t over here, bring 80 over here, so 130 equal to 13t, so t is coming 10 degrees centigrade, okay, so temperature at b is 10 degrees centigrade, and this is the method. Is that all right? I see this students, this uh, question you see the students. There are two plates which are connected in series. Temperature here minus 20, temperature here 20. Area of the plates is equal. Length of the plates 2 cm and 5 cm. What we have to do is find temperature of contact surface if both plates are of same material. If you are considering them as the same material, then here is also K and here is also K. Okay. Temperature of the contact, we can say is T, right? Since they are in series, what is same? Current is same. 
equate current is same i h1 equal to i h2 equate it what is i h1 minus 20 t so how the temp heat is coming actually heat is flowing like this so heat coming from here same heat will be here also so first is i h1 so consider okay i h1 is this so t minus minus 20 by L by K A. So L is 2 centimeter. K and A both are same. So I am writing just 2 centimeter over here. Okay, I will write K A also. Here, 20 minus T by L, which is 5 into 10 to the power minus 2 by K and A. This gets cancelled directly to this also gone directly over here. Now multiply, cross multiplication. So 5T that's plus 20, plus 20 into 500. On this side, 40. And this is minus 2t. Okay, so what are we getting? Bring this side here, this is 60. And this goes that side. What it is? Minus 7t. So t is coming nearly 8 point. 5 degrees centigrade minus 8.5 here minus 20 and minus 8.5 here is 20 degrees centigrade okay first question is answer second question in this one if they have thermal conductivity is in the ratio 2 is to 5 so k1 by k2 is 2 by 5 so what difference will come we'll see the difference here only directly Okay, so again L by K A, L is here 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 by K1 A, this is 5 into 10 to the power minus 2 by K2 A, A again cancelled, K1 will go at the top, so T plus 20 by 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 into K1, what is K1? Okay, ratio is given, fine, K1. Here is 20 minus T by 5 into 10 to the power minus 2, K2, K2 will be here. This and this gets cancelled again. Now bring this one down here and take ratio of K1 and K2 on the other side. So what you do? T plus 20, T plus 20 into 5 by 2 into 20 minus t okay equal to what k2 by k1 is k2 here by k1 now k2 by k1 we know it's 5 by 2 let's put it over here this is 5 by 2 so this 5 and this 5 cancel this 2 and this 2 is gone so t plus 20 equal to 20 minus t then this is 2t and this is 0 so according to this, the temperature at the contact will become 0 degree centigrade. Okay? So and see this question now. It's a different type of question. Uh, and in, in this one, what he says is there are two concentric shells. Okay? One of radius R1, another one is of radius R2. Temperature at the inner end is TH and outside is TC. It is maintained with the help of this heater which is continuously heating them so that this temperature doesn't decrease. Okay. So, heat is getting transferred from inner end to outer end. Right. What we have to find out in this one is, what is the power of P? Or in other words, I have to find is how much is the current which is flowing from inner to outer section. Because it's in steady state. Whatever current they are getting, same has to be transferred. How to find this now? We know that basic formula for I is delta T K A by L. Okay, so you know that temperature is changing from here to here. I can't take TH minus TC directly. Why? Why I can't take? The reason being because length will be in that case I have to take R2 minus R1. But what will be the area? Is area constant? Area is not constant. When you are talking about this section, then area is this only. What is the area I am talking? I am talking area of sphere. 
surface area because for this sphere because the heat is passing from all the ends from all the sides so what area we are going to take are we taking pi r square no it will be 4 pi r square because from entire side the heat is getting transferred so area of this is different area of this is different area of this is different what we have to do integration so first thing is choose the section suppose this only is a section and this radius I have taken as x and thickness is dx so we have to find that current which is moving from this end to this end that's it nothing more than that how will we writing i will be gt okay k is k only a i will write 4 pi x square and l it is going from here to here and length is dx okay now what we have to do we have to just rearrange it nothing else i let it be here only this is dx i took here and by x square i have taken okay dt as it is 4 pi k and here is dt if you want i bring it i over here so from where to where we have to go x is changing from where to where changing from r1 to r2 say r1 to r2 temperature in this one is at th this is tc so th here tc here okay so this will give us what minus 1 by x we know that this is r1 this is r2 and here 4 pi k by i will have tc minus th here what will be there here is going to come minus you take outside then we are going to write it as 1 by r2 minus 1 by r1 that's equal to 4 pi k by i tsc minus th now we all know that th is more than tc that means this is negative and here also negative is there so better is change this one here okay so 1 by r2 minus 1 by r1 equal to 4 pi k by i th minus tc what we want i value we got i value i value is 4 pi k th minus tc r1 r2 by r1 minus r2 okay that's all 